It's Liverpool at Old Trafford this weekend, the big one as far as home games go this season. Man United have come into this game off the back of an incredible comeback win against Crystal Palace. Terrible in the first half, brilliant in the second, turning a 2-0 deficit into a 3-2 win with a wonderful goal from Matic. And we beat Chelsea, coming from behind, 1-0 to 2-1 at Old Trafford last time. So United are coming into this game in a really good bit of confident form. So are Liverpool though. They beat Porto on aggregate, went through to the Champions League quarterfinals for the first time in seven, eight years. So their fans are buzzing. And with Mane, Firmino and Salah, they have one of the most dangerous attacks in the Premier League. So United might have one of the best defences, but it's going to be very hard for us to keep a clean sheet. What sort of formation will Jose Mourinho use? I'm going for a 4-3-3, but who will he play? And that's more important. Let's get into the predicted start at 11. Now, in goal, I'm going for David De Gea, and he needs to have a fantastic game, just like he has been all season, but particularly in this match, because that front three of Liverpool will get chances galore. So, fingers crossed De Gea has a barnstorming performance. Like, I suppose like he did against Liverpool a few years ago, and it was 3-0, Balotelli couldn't do anything, De Gea had an outrageous game. I'm hoping for a similar sort of performance from Dave against Liverpool on Saturday. Now, right back, Antonio Valencia, left back, Ashley Young, I've gone for Lindelof and Smalling. That's my back four. Would I play a back five? Yes, I would if Eric Bailly was 100% fit. Would I start Bailly here if he was 100% fit? Absolutely, our best defender. I don't think Mourinho is going to start him for the first time since November against Liverpool. It just doesn't feel right. Um, and for that, I'm going to play Smalling and Lindelof. Smalling, arguably our man of the match against Crystal Palace. It just depends what Smalling turns up. That's, it. That's his big problem. He can be fantastic against Palace. But then look at Newcastle away a few weeks ago, he was pony. So it depends what Chris Smalling turns up. Chris or Mike, if he plays well, he can be an asset to us. If he doesn't, I'm worried. Now Lindelof, I am worried. I was at the game at Crystal Palace and every, lo every aerial loft ball that came towards him, he seemed nervous, he didn't know what to do. He wasn't confident in his own game. He needs to be confident against Liverpool. And us having a ball playing centre back hopefully able to release the pressure because they're going to be pressing with intensity. I don't expect United to play out from the back too much against Liverpool. So having someone like Lindelof who can actually find an attacker with a clearance, that will help United a lot. Now I would start probably Luke Shaw over Ashley Young. But Luke Shaw looked pretty big when he came on against Crystal Palace. I don't know if that was me looking over, over the pitch. I couldn't actually see him that much. But I don't know whether Luke Shaw's lack of game time recently has helped to put a bit of the weight back on because he's definitely like Wayne Rooney naturally stocky figure, needs regular game time to keep his fitness up. Now I would start him, would you start him or would you start Ashley Young? Let me know in the comments. But in midfield, this is where I'm making changes. I'm not going to start Scott McTominay. I'm going to play Matic at the bottom of a midfield three with Paul Pogba and Jesse Lingard. I want to explain why. Scott McTominay has had a fantastic few weeks. So against Crystal Palace, he did get exposed and was taken off at half time, correctly given the result. Scott McTominay in this game would probably give us more assurance in midfield. But I feel Jesse Lingard's legs and Jesse Lingard's movement in that central role could be critical for United in transferring, transitioning sorry, from defence to attack. Now, Paul Popper, he has to control this game. There's no two ways about it. I'm not expecting him to get a hat-trick and two assists. I'm expecting and wanting Paul Popper to control that midfield. We shouldn't see Emre Chan, Van Alden or Jordan fucking Henderson controlling that midfield at Old Trafford. It should be Paul Pogba. He should be calling for the ball from Matic, looking up for Sanchez, for Lukaku, for whoever's in attack, and finding them with a pass. If Paul Pogba can control that, we can negate Liverpool's press. If he doesn't, and they control the ball in midfield, and they win the ball high up the pitch, Liverpool are going to be pressing on our defence when it's unstructured and out of shape. And that's when Liverpool are going to score. So Paul Pogba has to have a fantastic game. And I'm putting Jesse Lingard in here for his work rate. He'll play more as a number 10 type player, drifting more in towards the attacking positions than into defensive. But I would put Jesse Lingard here, maybe over Mata, certainly got more movement than Mata. You could put Matomane in there, but I think United are going to play on the counter-attack. And that's another reason to play Jesse Lingard in that slightly deeper role than normal. Him on the counter-attack. With my front three, as you can see now, of Martial on the left, Sanchez on the right, and Lukaku up front. That's a front four which can counter-attack with real pace and venom. And that is how we, I feel we're going to play against Liverpool. Not that it's a def massively defensive tactic. A lot of people are going to say that about Mourinho if he does play this formation. But it negates Liverpool's greatest strength. 
and that's their press. If you can stop the press, you can go over the top of the press from the midfielders and get it to Lukaku, get him to hold the ball up and bring Lingard, Sanchez and Martial into play, that's when you can hit Liverpool. So I was speaking to Chris Pajak from the Red Men TV ahead of the game. You can see the preview out on Friday morning on United People's TV and Red Men TV. And he was saying that Man United at Old Trafford shouldn't be looking to stop the strengths of the opposition. They should be going for the game and going for the win. And nine times out of ten I would agree. In fact, I would probably would agree. But I don't feel that United will do this in this situation because Jose Mourinho is our manager and it's not a necessarily a massively defensive thing to do. But if you can stop Liverpool's press, you stop Liverpool in attack. It's as simple as that as far as I'm concerned. If you can negate the press, go over towards Lukaku, let him hold it up, bring Lingard into play, bring Sanchez into play, bring Martial into play, that then plays towards United's strengths, which are pace on the counter-attack. So it's not specifically doing something to stop an opposition. It also gets the most out of United's attack. And as I said, my attacker Martial on the left, Sanchez on the right, and Lukaku up front with Lingard playing in a central midfield role a little bit further up. That's a lot of pace. United need to play to, the st to our strengths, and our strengths in attack are pace. Now, I would definitely play Sanchez on the right and Martial on the left to start with. Martial on the left, if he is fit, maybe not. I'll play Marcus Rashford. You saw how much of a difference he made against Crystal Palace when he came off the bench. But Lukaku up front, he's had a good run of form in the last month. His best performance in the United shirt came in that 2-1 win over Chelsea. He was instrumental up front. Normally in an upfront isolated role, Lukaku is a bit weak, a bit poor. He wasn't against Chelsea. We need that sort of performance against Liverpool. Now he knows all about how important it is to play against Liverpool because of the time of Everton, but it's different at United. And fingers crossed Lukaku can bag a goal at Old Trafford. And maybe Sanchez, you know, Sanchez hasn't had the strongest starts at United. He's still trying to find his feet. And so are United. We had a pretty much a, front, a set front four before Sanchez came in. Since he's came in, Rashford's gone out of the team, Lingard's gone out of the team, Matter's come back in. We're chopping and changing. But I would start Martial on the left, Sanchez on the right and Lukaku up front if I had my way. Who would you start? And who would you start in midfield? Do you agree maybe playing Lingard there or do you want to see Matter come in? Or do you feel we need McTominay to strengthen that midfield? Would you start Luke Short left back over Ashley Young? Let me know in the comments as always. Make sure you check out the preview with Redman TV on Friday morning. Until then, drop a like on the video, subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. We'll see you soon.